Oh, hi there. You've joined me right as I'm picking my acid mushrooms. What's going on? Welcome to Subnautica. Welcome back to Subnautica, episode 5 now. It is nighttime, the middle of the night, and I'm still stranded on this alien planet with our sea moth, though. The thing that we got last episode, I'm so excited that we have this. I did uh, take it for a cruise around the ocean a little bit off camera, but today we're going to do a building episode. I have my inventory full of stuff that we need to build a habitat builder. Our goal, our main project for today is to start setting up a base. Should be pretty easy. Um, I need to empty my inventory, so I want a base so I can make some storage pods. I know you can make... Um, these floating lockers but eh, i don't really want to do that i'd rather just make a base so what you need to make this tool uh wherever it is in tools that would make sense habitat builder wiring kit computer chip battery easy 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 so i actually already have enough stuff for a wiring kit we'll make that right off the bat uh then we have enough for a computer chip so right off the bat i grabbed all of this stuff i'm telling you guys i'm prepared today uh oh we need one more copper. Uh, I'm mostly prepared, okay? 95% is pretty good, I would say. Um, yep, definitely need to go find some more copper. So let's go take the sea moth for a spin. I don't think I did it too much last episode. And find a cave. Um, <laughs> there should be some near here. I haven't caved too much. I just spun in a whole circle, I know. Uh, probably down here. So the sea moth is really nice because it basically extends your oxygen range. You can park it right outside the cave, go in the cave, and whoa, 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 and get blown up by fish. Or not. Or not. Yeah, yeah, or not. Uh, we'll take the sulfur. But, uh, oh, is he here? No, he's not. Uh, but you can take it right out front of the cave, uh, explore, do your thing, and then go right back, and your oxygen will fill up, which is really nice. So, there we go. We got our copper, though. Easy as that. So, we need to build the habitat builder, of course. So, um, what? Advanced wiring kit. That's new. Uh, but anyways, battery. Uh, habitat builder. Where, where is my habitat builder? There we go. Uh, the menus are a little confusing for me to navigate. I always uh, lose track of what I'm doing, and is designed it's wrong. To construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Yep. So basically, you build a base with it. Now we need titanium. Titanium is the base building material in this game so we're gonna switch the titanium into uh my container we'll take this off for now and i have a base location plotted but uh actually first 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 let's let's listen to the radio it's been on delay for two episodes now i think that's that's enough what do, what do we have receiving pre-recorded distress call playing back this is life pod three uploading our coordinates we're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide so if we're late for the rendezvous don't panic <laughs> Also, don't go home without um, us. Seriously. Three hours. I'm pretty sure. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure that that is probably one of the light pods that I have already found. We found a bunch last episode or two episodes ago now, so um, we're just going to ignore it uh, for now. We'll, we'll go on that mission when I feel like it, but uh, um, I'll tell you, everything looks a lot different when it's dark out. Um... I think it was this way. Yeah, yeah, it's this way. So I picked out a base location. I don't know how it's going to be. I've never built a base over here. We might get annoyed with sand sharks and that kind of stuff. Um, but I was thinking it would be kind of cool to build it in this this red area. And also on this cliff, like right here. So, so we'd have a base, you know, partially on this cliff maybe. And then going down into the the red down here, I think. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I've looked around a little bit, and I haven't seen too many sharks, so I think we should just kind of go for it and build it, and I guess we can always move it. The nice thing is you can take things apart in this game. Uh, but let's start with, uh, I mean, I guess this. We got to start with a tube, right? So I think what we want to do is go over here with it and we'll put it like floating as high up as possible so right there then you need a door so that's our base right now um door so we need some quartz so uh i guess that's 80 percent prepared now 
But wait, the nice thing about building here is quartz is literally everywhere on the ground. So boom, got some quartz. Uh, then we go right back to the builder and throw a door on it. We'll put the door right there for now. I mean, it works, right? Um, then in the menus here, so we need to power our base. And then these are just things that we can use. So, wow, I actually already found a lot of recipes. Uh, we can get a vending machine and everything. We don't have this room yet. This is the room we really need for our base so we can have a functioning centerpiece room. But I don't think we're going for that today, unfortunately. So I think we need to get some more quartz and some copper and get us a solar panel so we can have some power so we can breathe in there. This is so much better for material trips. We can just sail around and literally look at the mountains way safer there's some sandstone might as well grab that uh, and there's some titanium so please or you know we should scan it we haven't been scanning a single thing we want to scan everything to fill up our data bank i think uh but did we scan yeah we scan we scan that okay so i got that now i just need um quartz oh no you don't no you don't nice try very nice try, uh, but I can out-navigate you. You're not that scary. Uh, come back here. Come back. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. Ah. Ah. Come back. Where are you at? There you are. Okay, got him. Um, this is not our goal, though. Okay, so I have the quartz, so then we need... I mean, I guess a solar panel right here. Um... I really don't know how good this is going to be because our base is kind of deep here, right? So, um, I think here, we'll just put the solar panel there. I don't know if the direction really matters. Uh, yep, there we go. Uh, now let's go in, and boom, we have a base. We have a house now, which is very nice. Um, awesome. So, we have oxygen in here. We don't have anything else yet. What we would want to do is get... Um, stuff like all of this, like a locker, um, a med kit thingy, a radio, a fabricator for sure. We should probably just do that off the bat, but let's start with a locker. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put a locker right inside the door. Then I'd like to do like a window compartment over here going into a room. So we won't worry about windows in the immediate entry thing. But I think we do want to collect the stuff for all of this. So I'm going to go off and gather a bunch of resources. We need copper. We need um, table coral. It's easy. We need all of this stuff to make a med kit thing. Um, that's really it. We want to get all three of these basic things in our own base. So I think it's time to go find some materials. Go gather a little bit. Uh, wish me luck. I hope I don't get eaten by any more sand sharks. And I... I hope I can stay on task. That's the big problem here, is me getting distracted. Oh, okay, hold on. Distracted. Getting distracted. No, no, no. Uh, performing a self-scan. Um, doesn't sound really amazing. Um, are we going to get infected? Am I going to get the flu? Is the flu existent on this this alien planet? Um, oh, wow. I found a life pod. Um, I'm going further out here. This is probably a, a completely terrible idea. This is probably a really bad idea. I'm hearing lots of sharks, but... Um, I got curious. What can I say? Life pod 17. What's going on, life pod 17? Have I found you? Um, yeah, it looks like I did find life pod 17. But I'll take that. Okay, I have enough for a radio. So let's make the radio. Um, I think this is probably the least important one. That is going to advance the quest. But um, we need uh, we need to go get that table coral to make the fabricator. That's the most important thing. So I didn't show it, but this is table coral. I need this to make the habitat builder. Um, but it grows on the side of the cliffs in case you're playing along and you need it. Um, it's on the cliffs in the shallow area. Look for it. Okay, we're going to lose our base really easily, so I definitely need to make a beacon as well. As soon as we can make this fabricator, we need to mark the base because when I go out sailing, 
Um, it's gonna be really hard to find uh, for a little while. And when it gets bigger, I mean, it'll get easier to find, but um, for now, it'll be hard to find. So let's put the fabricator over here. Let's just go right in the middle of the wall for that. And I think I need some water, so let's use this thing. And we also need a computer chip, so let's definitely use this. Um, use fabricator. I always confuse what buttons I need to be pressing. But we have some water, then what do I need for the computer chip? Um, computer chip. Uh, more coral. Okay, easy enough, and we need some more copper, too. Not that bad, that's not that bad. Um... But let's see, I think I can make some glass here. Where would glass, oh, I don't have enough quartz. Okay, I need to go get some glass too. So what I needed the glass for is this thing, the glass compartment. So let's put that, um, wait, um, right, wait, why can't I? Oh. Does it have to do with it being too high off the ground? What am I doing wrong? Why would I not be able to? Hold on. This is weird. It has to do with the radio. That's what it is. The radio is way too close to the the intersection, I think, for me to be able to use the glass compartment. Careful about that. Yep, there we go. Boom. We can put this right there. Then we'll have a room over there. But for now, that'll be it in terms of expanding the base so let's put that radio back thankfully you can deconstruct things and reconstruct them as much as you really need it seems like uh we do have a message but let's take a look Ooh, very cool not much to look at um but a cool view looking this way i like windows in my bases uh, but we do need this still so computer chip i might be able to make that now i don't know if the aurora is going to answer um little do they know the aurora has um you know exploded so yep there's gonna be no answer there they're gonna be waiting for a minute but let's make this med kit fabricator we'll throw it right there and then as i need i will begin filling in uh, lockers like a locker there there we could probably fit two there but that's most of what i want to do today not all what i want to try and do is make a tradition at the end of the episodes is go and find a wreck and explore the wreck and try and get stuff from it. So what do we need? Um, we have the repair tool. Maybe we want a laser cutter tool. What do I need? Can I make that really quick? Um, laser cutter. We need diamonds. I don't have diamonds yet. So what I want to do is go and find a wreck somewhere and, and explore it. See what I can find. So I think we're gonna go this way, whatever way this is. Um, it's not towards the Aurora, that's for sure. We don't wanna go over there, but I wanna explore this red um, like grass biome thing. Uh, I think we could hopefully find a wreck somewhere over here that I haven't found yet. I see there is gonna be a cliff here. Um, maybe we go over the cliff? Seek fluid intake. Um, I don't know, that looks pretty scary. Might be a bad idea to go down here. Um, yeah, this might be a bad idea. That looks like it goes pretty deep, too. We can only take this 200 meters, so we're not going to go that way. Um, turning around and going back to what feels a lot safer. Um, this is interesting. That's really weird. Um, we'll go... Uh, ooh, ah, Yeah, this game is a little scary sometimes. Um, we'll go over here. This is a lot more shallow and feels a lot safer, I think. Um, but I feel like I've seen all of this. Guess we're gonna have to find out. Wow. Um, what did I just find? We're really far from the pod, but wow. These are like trees and there's like rays down here. Are these hostile? They don't seem hostile. They seem to just be... Be kind of there. Like, just swimming around. They're not attacking me. If they if they didn't want me here, they would have come at me. So I think we can just... Investigate. Oh, that's an egg. Um, should I go and try and scan him? Jelly Ray. Ooh, I feel like I should not touch him. Um, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um... Let's scan some stuff, though. Hopefully, we can get something good. Uh, Cyclops? Oh. The biomass. 
In this oh. area is dominated oh. by plant life, picking up faint oh. or vehicle oh. signatures. Wow, okay. This stuff is completely different. A cyclops is like a big um, car. So we found a piece to the giant car thing. Um, this thing can't go too much deeper, the sea moth here, so I have to be careful, but... Wow, oh, okay, this is much better than a wreck. Um, lots of cool stuff here. Um, I'm gonna need to remember this. I'm gonna need to definitely remember this area. Yup, there's another thing. That's another piece of it. Okay, cool. And another piece. That's all three pieces to that. Wow, um, that was really easy. Um, what else is over here, though? Oh, this is new. Shale. I think that's where we can get diamonds. Um, wow, no diamonds, but wow. Okay, cool. All right, I think this is where we're going to call it today. I've done some good exploring, didn't find too much else, but I think this is a good place to call it for the episode. So I hope you enjoyed episode 5 of Subnautica. We'll definitely have to continue exploring this next episode, I think. And my name is Waddles. Check out some of the links in the description. Join the danger chat. Maybe go and check out my Patreon. Check out my Twitch too. I do stream this game sometimes. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Go have a good day. Goodbye, everybody.